Okay. When someone is going to build a rocket, there are they're going to get each thing, uh, one of these to do their project. The first will be a set of stencils. There are three different stencils, one for the rocket body, one for the rocket fins, and one for the rocket nose. They'll get a set of, uh, of scissors, some scotch tape, a pencil, one piece of printer paper, and also a piece of PVC pipe, and this will serve as the mold for the rocket that they'll build it on. So the first thing that they'll do is we're gonna cut out the rocket body, and so they'll take their piece of printer paper that they're gonna build it from, and they'll take the rocket body stencil and they'll line it up on one inch of the paper and then draw a line on the printer paper. And then they'll go ahead and they'll cut, cut that printer paper. Now, next thing they'll do is they'll go ahead and shape, make the shape of the of the rocket. And to do that, they're just going to take, you can see it's a little longer, the, it's the width of the paper, the longer side, and they'll put that onto the tube, and they'll just simply roll, roll the paper up onto that tube, just like that. And they, they want it to be about as tight as they can get it around that. And so once they have that rolled, they'll take uh, some scotch tape and they'll um, go ahead and tape that roll so it, it won't come apart anymore. And I think it's best, rather than just put one or two pieces, to go ahead and cover that whole uh, seam up from the top of the roll down to the bottom. So there we go. So there's our tube, our rocket tube. So we're going to put this aside for a second. We're going to get the rest of our printer paper now. We're going to take the mold for the rocket or the uh, stencil for the rocket fins and we're going to lay it on one end of the paper and we'll make another line and you'll notice there's one is this one's a, a perfect square but this one's a little longer it's that square that we're going to be using next so this square what we're going to do now is cut from this corner to that corner so basically we're just making um, four uh, smaller triangles and this doesn't have to be this by no means has to be perfect um, like that. so these are going to be our, our fins and to make the fins we're actually going to fold we're going to fold that triangle in half once and then fold the triangle in half again and that'll help to make that stronger and then on the long end of the triangle then we put a piece of tape fold it over like that and now you've uh, you can see you've created the fin and it's pretty stru it's pretty sturdy so we'll do that for the other three again we're doing it on the long end of the triangle and cover the cover the long end with tape Done and last. 
last one. Pull that over. Grab my tape on the long end. All right, so there are our four fins. Now what we're gonna do, is we're gonna take our fins, and you see you have the long edge of the triangle here. We wanna mount them like that with one of the short edges. You can see how that would fit right there. And to do that, you're gonna get a small piece of tape along one of the, one of the short ends here. And you basically, I'll try to do it so you can see, you basically just put one end like that, and then you take another piece of tape, you kind of push this back, open, I'm not getting my fingers in the way, and you put the other piece of tape on the other side. So there you can see, now you've got a pretty, you've got a pretty strong joint there for that, for that one fin. And we're going to do the exact same thing for the the other fins. Only at this time we're, we'll do uh, put one on like each quarter. You know, like one there, one there, one there, and one there. So we're going to mount that one there. Move him over and put another piece of tape on the other side. And if you look, you can kind of see how we've got a. We've got a fin here, a fin here, we're going to put one here, and then one on the bottom as well. So we're going to take our, our other fin, our third. Alright. We're going to put him on, on this side. And again, these also, I mean, you don't have to have like perfect precision, just as long as they're there. Um, to, to help the, uh, the rocket fly straight is all we are really looking for. And then finally, our, our last fin. Our last fin is going to go on the bottom here. Oh, the, I'm sorry, the, the last side that doesn't have a fin. And then we'll put our piece of tape on the other side of that fin and there we go you can kind of see our fins mounted now on the bottom all right the last piece is going to be the nose and so we have this one piece of paper left we're going to take the circle the uh, rocket nose we're going to put it down and we're going to trace that circle out There's our circle, and that circle piece is going to end up being the rocket nose. So we're going to go ahead and cut that circle that we just drew. The only part we're going to waste is that little bit. So the last piece to make the nose here is you can kind of just eye, eye it up, put a dot somewhere close to the middle, and then from anywhere on the circle, you just cut to the center, to that dot that you made. Now, what you're going to do now is take that circle and you're going to kind of start to wrap it around. You can kind of see as I start to move this, you see it makes starts to make the shape of a cone. And the, the more I, I pull it over, the tighter that cone shape gets. All right. And what the idea is, if we bring our rocket mold back over, you want to keep moving that until your cone is around the same circumference as, as your rocket body. This takes a little bit. This will probably be more like the adult maybe doing it. But, but you just keep tightening that up 
until you have a cone shape that's roughly the same as that rocket. That looks pretty good there. Once you have that, you're gonna take a piece of tape and then go ahead and seal that rocket shape there. So now you can see we've made our, our cone for our rocket. The next step is to put that cone there. We're going to then start taking pieces of tape. Hold the rocket cone steady. And we're going to put our tape just like that. And kind of like when we made the rocket body, we don't want to leave any gaps here. So we're going to go to the edge of that piece of tape. Put another piece of tape. And this keep working. Working our way around the entire uh, rocket until we have the entire uh, cone sealed to the body all the way around. And none of this, again, none of it has to be super, super perfect. The main thing we want is just to make sure we have a, a really solid connection there between the body of the rocket and the cone. And there we go. We have our cone on, we have our fins on, and we have the rocket. Now we can slide our rocket off, and this guy is ready to launch. So just go put that onto the edge of the launcher, hit the button, and that's all. That's how we make our model rocket.